Okay, it took a bit to catch on there again. Uh, hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Welcome to Helium's Hub with me, Helium, along with... The Crazy Drakir. <laughs> oh, actually, oh, actually, I think I realized what the hell is going on with that. Uh, let's see. Discord filters. Ah, uh, yes, that's the... Okay, that's why it... Your intros have been really silent. Why does this thing keep unmuting itself? Uh, the uh, move value filters are still on the Discord uh, audio. So, yeah, for the first 15 seconds or so, during which the original intro would be going, uh, you're getting silenced a lot. So, yeah. Let me just remove these outright. Because, yeah, we're not using the intro anymore, so we don't need it muting you for that anymore. There we go. That should <laughs> that should fix all of that. Uh, give me a moment to close the door. Hey, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Um, we're going to be starting with Escape from Monkey Island today, but since it is an old game, it is a rather temperamental one, and so far it's actually been the most temperamental one. To the point that uh, I got it working now and got it working with Discord screen share through a stupidly easy way of just a, a fan made or fan corrected uh, launcher. Because apparently this game is supposed to come with a launcher, but on modern systems it refuses to work with that. Uh, so yeah, someone just made a corrected version of that and I got it working with that. It works with Discord screen share. The only problem is now it seems to have broken the intro uh, that would show before everything else. And so, yeah, we're going to have to show that through just the plain, <laughs> plain YouTube. Yeah. So, uh, don't see. forget to screen share. Yeah. Uh, we won't, we won't be viewing all of this, not all of this nine minutes, only like a minute or so, because the rest, it does still show. So just so moving this aside. It, yeah, I've, we've been moved, working on this to the last minute. That was rather stupid of me. So, yeah. Escape from Monkey Island. Screen share to you. And start on that. Thank you. Um, yeah, monkey. <laughs> uh, to give credit, this is from the channel Save the Dawn. So, yeah. Full credit to that. Give them a like just to be certain. Uh, I, I can't put this in full screen because then uh, yeah, it starts freaking out again with the resolution. So, yeah. John Boz Buzzleach. Buzzleach? Buzzleach. Primary music composers Clint Bajakian, Michael Land, and Peter McConnell. Uh, Michael Land? Yeah, that, that was the same, that's the same composer as the previous game. Voice producer and director, Dara O'Farrell. Larry D Larry Dio a sound supervisor, senior sound designer Nick Pick Peck, Mark Overney as lead animator, lead technical assistant Alicia Picarillo, lead artist Chris Miles, and lead programmer Michelle Hinners. Once this bit is over, we can mo move on to the game. Let's see, production manager Linda Villa Lobos Cristani, uh, production coordinator Christopher Tuiti, and project leaders Sean Clark and Mike uh, Stimuli. And here it's going to swap over. Okay, so we close that, we start the game. And yes, this launcher has little audios like that. Then screen share to the gear again. And put this thing in the middle of the screen. Wait, now it does work? Yo, come the hell on. It, <laughs> like, like literal, mi literal minutes before this. So, uh, well, let's just let it roll and see if, yep. Yeah, Dominique Aramato as Guy Brush Marley Treepwood. Uh, like I said, temperamental. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, yeah, here we go again. At least now full screen with it, or at least full window. <laughs> Fancy uh. golden cannon. Yeah, I think it's probably more supposed to be bronze. But yeah, there is one more issue that popped up, and if we skip this, then the next in the next cutscene would be showing in uh, <clears throat> would be showing in the wrong resolution. That I don't need to. I don't. Yeah. I don't need the mouse on screen because the mouse isn't used in this game. Now, is it going to screw with the next cutscene? Because that's why I played it on, on YouTube, or at least was going to, or you did with. Uh, game. Don't tell me that one thing fixed itself only for the next to screw itself over. Oop. There we go. I had for some reason I had to hit escape. Guybrush Threepwood. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the monkeys. It's hard to believe that it's only been a few years since I first washed up on the beaches of Melee Island, armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have suspected that such a humble pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost pirate LeChuck, the slimiest slug ever to plunder the Seven Seas? <laughs> okay. And my battles with LeChuck would introduce me to the love of my life, Melee Island's Governor Elaine Marley. <laughs> Or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly drag me to the mystery-drenched shores of Monkey Island. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. <laughs> or that I would finally <laughs> end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island after the most incredible honeymoon in the history of Die Brush! Yep. <laughs> uh, yes, dear. Uh, of course. <laughs> Should we even ask how the hell he got himself tied to the mast? <laughs> yeah, good question! Yeah. And, and, well, uh, as is obvious, this is the first of the Monkey Island games that is in full 3D, not uh, colored, or not, yeah, not pixelated or drawn. Yeah, it, it doesn't look that bad for oh, oh, people oh, oh. hating it. Uh, one little issue, uh, I, for I removed the, the sound... Okay, I removed these. I actually removed the sound limiter from you as well, so you were probably blowing out someone's ear there for a moment. Uh, filters, um, limiter, yes, yes, limiter, and that move that down to minus twenty decibels or so. There we go. Give it a try now. Uh, probably going to need to fine-tune that at some point, but yeah, sorry if that blew out somebody's eardrum. Uh, bring that up a yeah, bit sorry more. For that. <laughs> yeah, there, that's my fault. Okay, uh, test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, that should put you at about the same level as me. And yeah, yeah back to this. Yeah, as I said, was this saying, I have people that hate the animation, but it doesn't look that bad, considering how good it is. And yeah, it is always a big jump to go from 2D, you know, just full 3D. And um, yeah, because it is now a 3D game as well, it doesn't work with the mouse anymore. Instead, it works with keyboards and tank controls. So yeah, we can go around the... At the moment, we are, of course, tied to this freaking mast. 
after we can do is side move side to side and look at different things which we actually swap between with the page up and page down buttons i'm not sure if these can be rebound okay i'm curious um what does, does Elaine expect him to do when he's chained up something he's managed to get himself out of stupid situations many times before Yeah, I, I do like that he actually turns to look what you are well, telling him to look at. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. So yeah, what the hell are what the hell can we even do here? It's the graded door to the ship's cargo hold. Uh, there's a cannon there. That cannon looks ready to fire. If only I could get that thing to go off. Okay, probably need to work with that then. Uh, oh. Hmm? I think I know what you're supposed to do. Yeah, probably get the coals to the cannon somehow. Their ship is probably by... Probably by throwing it or kicking it. Someone kicking it to launch just enough to fuse. I don't think anybody reloaded that cannon. And that's all there is to look at. Okay. Um, U is a use button, but... Yeah, we... We can't reach, apparently. Uh, guy press her. Did the game just get it? Oh, there we go. That that took a bit of time. What? Uh, there we go. It's full of hot coals. There's uh, a lot of red hot coals simmering on the deck there. Now I'm glad we got the ship with the flame retardant lacquered deck wood. <laughs> I should try to pick one up if I want to try to do something with it. Uh, okay, P is pick up, U is use. Oop. Yeah. I hope it doesn't have to pause like this after every little thing that we do, because that is going to get annoying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, can we kick it at the enemy pirate just to see what happens? <laughs> hmm? It's taking its time again. Okay, yeah, I think that is going to be a, a case here that is going to get annoying, but hopefully... Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, somebody didn't appreciate that. Better not try that again. <laughs> okay. Holes again. Oop, he automatically zips into place. And yeah, this is going to be annoying. Hmm. Oh, at least it look went faster this time, it seems. Um yeah, loaded cannon. Go. Hmm. You'd think an old game like this would have a much easier time loading than this. I think it's actually starting to speed up. I say that and it's taking quite a bit of time now again. Okay, that was easy. I'd be... Could you untie me? Okay, yeah, that... Oh. Things to do on Melee Island when you're dead? Uh, yeah, the models are, of course, primitive, but yeah, this is a 2000s game. Yeah, So it's sort of to be uh, expected. For, there were many 2000s games that looked way worse than this. Yeah. Uh, is the game going to do anything or? Things to do. Don't... Melee Island trademark when you're dead. 
Wait. Don't tell me it got stuck or something. Oh, wait, I think I heard something. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it just did the jingle again, but... Okay. I don't know, yeah. I think it's one of those scenes that the game is... Like... The other game, people were really patching it up to be in very well working state. This one, I've... I... I still wonder if those that post this on Giyugi really bother fixing it. It is running through that launcher now, so that might also be a part of it. And uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Is anything up oh, there? We. Oh. That that took a long ass time for some reason. Yep. yep. <laughs> My rich flag is a dough roller and a carrot. <laughs> the way I pushed that smelly pirate right over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. I hope the loyal citizens of Manly don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my, uh, well, our return. It'd be dangerous. Make sure this one stays on top. Then there was the swab who came at me with the rusty fid. I sure taught him a thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. <laughs> deck chairs? What? Yeah, yeah. That one was supposed to. Governor of such an adoring yet unsophisticated public can be so draining. I'll be lucky if I can get a second to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the way we work together, and the way we anticipate each other's every move. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Hmm. Oh well, here it goes. Might as well get all the hullabaloo over with. What? Wh where is everyone? Maybe everyone went to bed early? Where's the welcoming committee? The banners? The crushing throng of well-wishers? Oh dear, do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning. <laughs> no, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. Okay, there I see the, some roughness. Yeah. So I, again, there were many games around this year that looked way worse yeah uh, hmm. yeah this loading is going to be a bit of an issue and okay that that mm -hmm. I'm I can't really tell now if that background here is 3d or drawn uh, it oh, could just be the I... art style that makes it look drawn at distance it might be, do I I see what you mean. I'm even now confused when you pointed it out. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's trying to transition to something again, but for some reason it's having issues. Hmm. Oh. What's that? Okay, monkey. <laughs> Faceless monkey all of a sudden. Okay, yeah, but you're, you're always going to have issues when running older games on newer hardware. Hey, it's Timmy the Monkey. How are you, boy? <laughs> Eater's litter box is full or he's trying to tell us hey, This something. is wrong. Hey, what is it, boy? Or... Timmy? So dumb. Wrong? Free grog at the scum bar? Probably not that. There's been an outbreak of scurvy? <laughs> Entirely possible. You won 74 bucks playing bingo, but lost it all playing banana futures. Okay, and I think it's trying to transition again. Hmm. There's trouble at the governor's mansion. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that went a lot faster this time. It, it, I'm going to have to figure out what the hell is up with that. And oh, that's the scumbag right behind them. Yeah. Even if it's not too unreadable. 
Hmm. Yeah, going to have to figure out how to get this to lower or to lessen. It could be because of one of the programs used to keep it running. Hmm. Let's try it, um... 7.3 minus 6. Fire! Ah! What do you think you're doing? What does he look like I'm doing, fancy pants? I'm knocking down the governor's mansion. You can't knock down the governor's mansion without approval from the governor. Yeah. <laughs> the governor's dead, ma'am. Dead? It was the marriage that killed her, they say. But I am the governor. Do I look dead to you? Uh, no, ma'am. Then cease and desist your boulder flinging immediately. Yeah. Sorry, governor. I'm on the contract. I'm legally obligated to destroy your mansion with this here catapult. Something's rotten on Melee Island. I know. But the stench usually drifts away with high tide. I've got a plan. Guybrush. Oh, sometimes lingers during an eclipse. Oh, Guybrush! Uh, yes, dear? I'm going down to City Hall to see about getting declared undead. Won't that make you a flesh-eating zombie? In the meantime, I need you to do two things for me. More back rubs and foot massages? <laughs> What's up with the monkey going on in? First, I want you to put a stop to this insane boulder flinging. Stop the insanity. Check. Second, I want you to go to Lucre Island. Talk to my grandpa's lawyers. They might know how to help us fight City Hall. Oh, but I hate talking to lawyers. And not as much as they'll hate talking to you, dear. Okay. Well, I've got a resurrection to perform. Be good, dear. And Timmy runs off. And don't forget, stop the catapult, go to Luker Island. <laughs> okay. Um Sounds like the honeymoon's over. She was a lot nicer before she died. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um Let's try let's try the game again without one of the programs to keep it running. So uh Mansion. Just going to do a quick restart. Yeah. Yes, game. Hmm. Let's do okay, the old go. school loading screen circle. Okay, so quick for a quick bit. Then yeah, I'm I'm using I'm using DG Voodoo 2. It's just a program to help use uh, well, to help uh, older games like this run with uh, <clears throat> with you know, older versions of uh, direct X and uh, direct X and such. Um, where okay, open the files. GOG games, Escape from Monkey Island. If I just remove the files that are help, that are part of that, then it should or it, it could run better, or but it might ha have some other issues as well. So just paste those over for a second. Reposition so they don't look like a stupid collection of that. Okay, and if we try to run it again now through the launcher. Uh, when I did this earlier, it did cause some lines to be shown across the screen. Uh, with what? What? Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, it does show if a line here. Uh, but if the if this oh, it's showing quite a bit of lines over models, but if that kills the uh, loading time, then I'd say it might it be yeah, worth excuse it. Excuse me. What? All right. Um, not forget the something. Yeah. Give me a sec. Screen share. If my, there we go. Uh, luckily, there is a hint book included with the GOG version of this game as well. So, uh, yeah, spoilers inside. Uh, insults. So, okay, we're going to get insults fighting again. It seems. Uh, wait, what? Is this skipping something, or? Or the page is out of order with this because it's jumping immediately to Lucre Island. 
Uh, da, da, da. Hmm. Or maybe it's just skipping with this because it's so easy that you don't even need a hint book with it. Oh. <clears throat> Please stop what? firing boulders at my house. It's very unnerving. Sorry about that, kid, but I'm under contract. What would it take to get you to stop flinging rocks at my house? Permanently? Yeah, some kind of restraining order, I guess. You'd need some fancy lawyers for that. Okay, how about temporarily? Well, the union gives us liberal snack breaks during the day, but I don't have any snacks. Okay, so we have to give him some snacks. Okay, well, another problem, Helian. Hmm? It's night. What are those numbers you're muttering? You know? I don't rightly know. They're supposed to be targeting numbers or something. But I'll be danged if I can figure them out. All <laughs> I know is how to hit that cactus. I'm trying to extrapolate from there. Uh, yeah, the stores are probably going to be closed. So we might just need to find him a banana or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he can hit that cactus over there. The one that looks like a slingshot, I presume. Um... That's probably going to come up at some you point. You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. <laughs> All right then. And um, yeah, Guybrush has tank controls during this. We okay. We can sprint with shift. Uh, I just hope the lines across everything aren't going to be that annoying. Uh, can we enter? Hey, I don't want to be inside if that guy actually gets lucky and hits the house. <laughs> Good point. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Shall we try things? Mo shall we try things mostly on our own, or shall we uh, follow the hint book? Just not to not get stuck on everything. A uh, mix of both. We can try to do it on our own, but uh, yeah, if we get the issues, definitely hint book. And yeah. I think I found the voodoo, uh, the voodoo lady's house. Um, wait, hold on one second. Uh, okay, for a moment I thought I, I was looking over to OBS. And for a moment I thought you were on, you were laid, layered under the game footage, but it, it shouldn't be. So. Hmm. Hmm. Lay it under the game? Uh, okay, it only looks like that because it, it a little corner of it peeks over into your model. The uh, oh hello, we have, uh, yeah, you, <clears throat> uh, it's not the case. We're just seeing things a bit wrong. It, uh, okay, and I knew it. Yep. I I call it. I call it. Okay, uh, uh, is that a share or a... It's... Monkey armpit juice? Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Beca because this game is 3D, it's going to be a lot harder likely to find what we actually need to mess around with. Speedy. Really? This table must have been a hand-me-down. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. An helium pun! And I thought, there, I thought there was a share! What a strange mirror. Uh, let's see... It doesn't actually tell... Oh, let's... Should be somewhere... Options, and then... Okay, so, oh, so we can move these around. Let's see. Uh, e, U, P, I, and quick room exit. Uh, J. No. Oh. Okay, that might that's might be useful if we just. Oh. Okay, why were you running, Guybrush? Did you steal something? Why is he running every... Why is he swapping between? I I'm only pressing the forward button. Okay. 
Uh, is he just... Uh, for a moment, I thought he was missing pieces of his hair, but no, that's a, that's a ponytail. I could swear that I've seen those pirates somewhere before. Do you recognize one of them? Is that Carla? No idea who the other one is. I could swear that I've seen those pirates somewhere and before. There you. Hi there, fellow seafaring wastrels. Yes. Wait, that sound, that voice. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, you uh, startled us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I startled. What? And okay. the one is Carla, definitely, but the other one I did not expect to be. Oh, what's his name again? Uh, I don't remember his name, but he's the one that we saved from prison from the first game. Uh, was it Pedro? I think so. It does not look like himself at all. You two look awfully familiar. Oh, we have very common-looking faces. Isn't that right? Oh, definitely. Can't swing a dead Chinook around here without hitting someone who looked like us. <laughs> uh, let's see. Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? I don't think so. Carla, make the Batman stop! <laughs> He's come to take us back to Monkey Island! Carla? It. Uh, who? You can't fool me. You're Carla, the Swordmaster of Melee Island, and you're Otis! I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let it go, Otis. The half-wits recognized us. I knew you guys looked familiar. You were two-thirds of my original Monkey Island crew. The crew you abandoned on Monkey Island, you mean? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to escape from Monkey Island? <laughs> no. How difficult is it to? Escape from Monkey Island. Um, well... It's really difficult. Yeah. The whole experience was very traumatizing. Scared us for life. Gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't feed the narwhals, Buster. <laughs> uh, wasn't there a third guy? Uh, the one with the hooks? <laughs> yeah. And uh, they kind of got themselves stuck on Monkey Island themselves because, yeah, they just refused to help. <laughs> lost, lost they were, uh, with, lost they were held captive by the cannibals. Yeah. And, uh, uh... Well, we did kind of sink the ship they were on, so, uh... <laughs> we... Let's call it 50-50, one who is responsible. So, what have you rapscallions been up to? Uh, where do we gain? What have you been doing with yourself, Carla? You mean, after I finally managed to escape from Monkey Island? You're never gonna forgive me for that, are you? Not in this lifetime. Anyhow, I've spent the last few years here on Melee Island re-establishing my Swordmaster credentials. Well, that sounds productive. Oh, it was, until that Australian showed up. Australian? Yeah, an Australian real estate developer. He challenged me to a round of insult sword fighting, badgered me into betting my house. It was over so quickly. <laughs> Gee. Now I wander the streets of melee and salt sword fighting for food. How sad. Oh. Okay. Wait, Australian? How about you, Otis? <laughs> what have you been doing for the last few years? Well, after I finally escaped it from Monkey Island, I made my way back to Melee Island where I tried to resume my former profession. Petty thievery? I prefer <laughs> to think of it as proactive redistribution of wealth. Unfortunately, the indignities I suffer on Monkey Island have left me so jittery that I cannot pick a lock or a pocket without making more noise than a flatulent hippo. What vivid imagery. So how do you earn a living? Begging mostly. You'd be amazed how many people will pay to hear this story of the innocent pirates who were betrayed by their <laughs> idiot captain. Uh. I but did not did expect to find the these guys. <laughs> no, I wonder, why did they make Otis so extremely different from his original? Um, well, oh. so here's, here's the thing, people. In original, Otis was Hispanic. Yeah, he, he has the same Hispanic? voice. Yeah, uh, he has the same right voice at all, but... I actually don't remember how he looked in the game. <laughs> he had black hair and a small mu twirly mustache. He did not have a beard or a ponytail. Again, he was tanned and black-haired. Hmm. 
Oh well. Uh, where is number three? Well, where's the third member of our old crew? You mean Meatork? That's a good question. After we finally got off Monkey Island, Meathook renounced his piratey lifestyle and returned to his true passion. Drinking? <laughs> Painting. Wait, what? Painting. But the guy's got no hands. That's what we said. <laughs> Ready? I was half expecting... Uh, what? Yeah, I was half expecting them to say that the cannibals ate him. The same. No. I can see him able to paint too. I suspect he needs someone to help him tie the brush to these hooks. Yeah. Whatever happened to Captain Smirk, the sword trainer? He sold his house to a foreign investor. But he didn't want to. The investor challenged him to a round of insult gin rummy and beat him. Smirk was so ashamed that he signed over the deed to his house on the spot and hopped the next ship out of Melee. The same story's been repeated dozens of times all over Melee Island. This slimy investor strolls into a pirate's house or place of business, challenges him to a game of insult something or another, then humiliates them so badly that they have to cave into his hostile takeovers. Haven't you noticed all the sword signs around here? These stories are too depressing. Let's talk about something else. If we okay. Must. So, okay, that's what that's why the place is empty. Be seeing you. Not if we see you first. <laughs> okay, they really tried their best with animation work. Like it's not too bad, dude. It is rough on some uh, areas. Yeah, it's a bit jumpy between some stances and such. And what is in here? Interior. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, oh, that's City Hall. Yep. How did we end up on this side? You ran to it. Hmm. Wow, that's one flexible merboy. <laughs> okay. Um... Walk to me. What? Oh, okay. To the map it is then. Uh, okay, it is mostly the same as before. Uh, well, mostly I say, but it is for reasonable the same. Uh, uh, you're not noticing something here. Hmm? Alien! It's a bit old school pixelated. Dead. It's, it's more hand drawn and less pixelated. Probably more drawn in that way. Uh, Okay, there's the harbor here. Dude, uh, can I, get, I was like, half expecting another type, type of map. It's still a damn good map. It looks good. Uh, let's see then. Uh, okay, uh, that's not Stan at least. Uh, this inner tube looks as though it's been subjected to unspeakable stresses. Can we, can we, yes, we can steal it. <laughs> oh, we're, we're just going to carry it around. Okay. Well, this inner tube has no use here. No, okay, I'm, I'm curious. Was Australia discovered during the pirate age? Uh, I think before, actually. Um... All right. Okay, then I guess there is a reason you're supposed to have an Australian eat Caribbean food. That, that's the first time for me. Australian Caribbean. <laughs> in a pirate game. I'm actually curious, which was discovered first, America or Australia? Uh, hmm. America, yes. I sure could go for a nice refreshing grog right now. It's empty. Okay. It says ship for sale. Is it singular ship? Okay. Probably a good idea to keep a couple of those near the grog machine. <laughs> Especially near water, yeah. And who are you? I'm Guybrush Mark Threepwood, and I need a ship. How nice for you. And just what do you want me to do about it? 
Are you the harbor master? No, I am the harbor mistress. My full title is Chief Assistant Shipyard Regulator, Harbor Operations, Malay Island, a division of Inter-Island Transportation Services. Which means? Which means I'm in charge of ship allocations on Malay Island. And... <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> <laughs> They've gone back to the TM on everything with May Lions, huh? <laughs> you must be some kind of ship expert to land such an important and specialized job. Nope. Don't know anything about them, and I can't stand sailing. I'm just paying my dues until I get a supervisor's job. Okay. What? All this red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, she's witty. Now that's a fine looking ship. Where do we get the feeling we're going to end up with the most disingenuous <laughs> thing here again? Why am I start to laugh while I it's as quick as trying to eat something, it's a time I start laughing. Uh, just the unexpected you know, snapback. Yeah. Though, yeah, if, if you're wondering why I sound old when laughing today, it's just the time of uh, I actually have something in my mouth. Yeah. Deluxe. Is there anything over this way? Yes. Uh, um. Okay. Um. Am I the only one who gets suspicious of that? Uh, a lady on the boat? Or I think it is a normal sign. Uh, okay. okay, now I managed to squeeze through. That's the second most beautiful figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Why would anyone put earrings on a ship's figurehead? You were saying? Okay. Uh, why do I get the... I can see why this ship hasn't been sold. Yeah, that's going to be our ship, isn't it? Okay. Um, I am worried. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I do have the hint book open you know, as a PDF on the side here, and it, it does say that we have to pick up that inner tube, so I, I get the feeling we're going... I get the feeling we're going to feed the inner tube. <laughs> Through the the catapult operator. Yeah, okay. I think we need to recruit the other two. Yeah, uh, for uh, a, a ship to Lucre Island. So yeah, that is probably going to take some difficulty. Oh, oh, that's meat hooks. Okay. It looks like the water level has lowered or something to <laughs> to connect these places somewhat. Uh, Hey there, read the signs. Meat hooks, house of wax. Okay. That's and the other one says. Hmm? Wax on. show. Hmm. This could be horrifying, uh, ain't it? Probably. Hey, look, a full moon. How are you? Looks like Meathook finally got himself a bridge. Personally, I kind of miss the old pulley and poultry method. <laughs> pulley and poultry. Uh, yeah, we have to oh. we have to get over with the rope and the <laughs> that rubber chicken. And I do yeah, not I trust what that freaks. I just realized, due to he has he, he has hooks, that system was just perfect for him. Yeah. Uh, okay, just phase through. Uh, guy brush. Guy brush. It's locked. Wait, what? Okay, it's still taking a bit to get between scenes. Hmm. Knock knock. Who's there? Anybody home? No. Go away. Then who are you? Uh, no one. There's no one here. I think there's a different voice actor. When do you expect someone to be home? Later. Much later. Finish running your wife's errands first. Okay, how do you know about that? And yeah, that's a different voice from me took in the first, yeah, well, in at least the special edition. Uh, because, yeah, they, 
the first two games didn't have actually you know, the first two games didn't have voice acting originally so the voice actors they chose for this game have been the ones that they've been using in the older yeah, games ah. uh, actually no uh, not just this one the, the voice acting started in the previous game but so yeah this was the first time that Carla and Otis were voiced and well Meat Hook as well I'm guessing but if this is Meat Hook that is Is this is okay. it's me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go on. But he says his name on the sign. Yeah, that doesn't mean that the person in here is me took for all we know someone broke in or something. Oh, point taken. Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. <laughs> nice try. Guybrush and Elaine are dead. I know why you're here, and you can't have it. What are you talking about? Stop pretending, you greedy old man. You think you can just buy up the old island just because you can insult people? Well, think again. You can't take my house away from me if you can't get in. I knew I shouldn't have fixed that bridge. Okay, so it is Meat Hook. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, so he thinks he thinks we're the real estate agent or something. Hmm. Actually, I I don't know if I I don't know if that is the voice that they used in the special edition or not. Hmm. I don't think so. Well, it yeah, it has more, been a long while. It was a bit more gruff. Hmm. It, it could be that they he put up a different voice for it, but oh well. Um, yep, jump Wait. off. Yeah. Okay. Yep, really? What? what? Goodbye, cruel adventure game. Eh, forget it. <laughs> Guy brush. Uh. I kind of glad that he did, did not jump for <laughs> several reasons. Dark. That is yeah. Oh, come on. This is no fluffy. Need to, no need to fat shame, Guybrush. Uh, I, can't, I can't get any closer to whatever that is. Uh, is that a cow? Hey, I bet I could market this. Vegetarian steak. That is actually a, a, a thing these days. And... Oop. Miss. Um, I don't know if it's much of a thing in other places, but over here we have now a uh, vegetarian butcher. And personally, I just find it a complete and total, total misnomer because a lot of... But a lot of those vegetarian hamburgers and such, they often claim it tastes just the same. And uh, let me tell you, they fucking don't. Yeah. Fertilizer <laughs> okay. If you, if you want some that really is at least close, you just have to pay a lot for it. Yeah, or tofu. Uh. Mm, looks like our landscaper has been monkeying around. Trust me, I actually learned something about a from a vegan YouTuber. What to said something that the many vegan YouTube uh, vegans forget about that. They, they don't want to eat any animal products, but they don't want to harm animals and nature. Problem is, they, what they may not forget is for making farmlands harm animals. Uh, yeah, all that, all that vegan stuff needs to come from something, and it needs to be made somewhere. And, uh, yeah, that means more farmland, which means less room for the animals as well. And often, I... I think a lot of those, uh, just for clarification, vegan uh, in this term is people who don't not e uh, eat hmm. any animal related Let's products, try. so no eggs and such either. But that means that they have to take vi vitamins and such. Uh, but the question is, where do they you know, get where do they get the material f to get make the vitamins uh, for? In that is a question that I haven't got an answer yet, so it, it might as well be, be made from animal products. 
Yeah, and this is something I learned from a Star Trek video where they were supposed to start if the Star Trek people are vegans by technicality or not. Hmm. With, you know, food replicators. And, and they did point out that the, some vegans seem to not be aware that the. Oh, yeah. Just vegan food are grown on farms. What an odd looking cactus. So, this is myself self aware that there's a strong hypocrisy by some of the vegan community. It's loading. What is it to do with that? It does look like a slingshot, doesn't it? Uh oh. But yeah, nothing against vegans, against, well, the extremists, as, as usual. I don't like extremist groups. Yeah. And it looks like it has this pausing bit even with uh, DG Voodoo turned off. So yeah. next week we'll turn yeah. it back on. That is, we'll at least get rid of all this, the blocks around the place. Yeah, do, I think I know what the blocks are. Hmm, what then? They're on the background. Yeah, and interaction items, I'm guessing, because I see one around the doorknob at the door. Yeah, and for it doesn't affect the models, only the background. And I saw guy plus. Um, did you hear that? Yeah, that, that sounded like. Him. I'm guessing there was supposed to be the sound of him putting it on the cactus. It sounded like he farted. Hmm, not a bad piece of modern art, if I do say so myself. Modern With that inner tube, art? It looks like a giant slingshot. Uh, oh! And he knows. We know that he can hit the cactus. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one in the head, capiche? <laughs> okay, since when have you are Italian? Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. You're calling us pencil neck? Have you seen your own neck? It looks like a swan. It looks like the swan tube in a toilet. <laughs> Um, excuse me. It looks yeah, like a vulture. Yeah, yeah. Just a sec. 15, 5.5, minus 27. What? Uh, da, 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 da. Could you show me how to hit the cactus? Nah, I only do that when I think the catapult's out of alignment. I wouldn't want to waste one of these boulders. They're expensive. Why are the boulders expensive? <laughs> You seem like a busy man. I'll let you return to your evil deeds. Thanks. Okay, so we need to get that thing out of alignment. Fire! Hmm. <laughs> Delayed launch. Okay, so we're going to have to mess with this thing while he's standing aside or something? Okay, so we can't get near. Now stay over there, pencil neck. He looks like a vulture. Yeah. Pretzels. Okay, there's. The, I think there's a page missing or something here. Take the path to the right of the scum bar and travel. Uh, east to the harbor, pick up the inner tube. And yeah, it doesn't say anything about pretzels. Hmm. Uh, Scumbar should be around here somewhere. Maybe we can. We, okay, there we go. We can probably get some uh, pretzels here then. It even has a smiley face. <laughs> yeah, I notice that now. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be loading on every time. This is this it seems. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to look into a way to lower this because this uh, this is going to add up if we're just uh, if we're just moving around. Hmm. Yeah, th this probably explains why I had trouble finding most of the. It's a big skull. Not the skull reacting to. Look behind the bartender. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Wait, she looks familiar. Is that Governor Fat? I'm Wait, not even sure if that no. is a she. Hillian, I think that's the lady from the harbor. Aelin, hello, oh master of all things grog like. What can I do for you, Mr. Marley? Uh, Threepwood. Ah, right, uh, sorry about that, Mr. Threepwood. This place is quieter than a crypt full of mines. Isn't it a crying shame? It's been that way since that Australian blew into town. Australian? Aye. A scurrilous Australian land developer who's been using strong arm tactics to buy up all the land on Mealy Island. Half of our regular clientele have been driven off island by the no good scoundrel. Wow. Yeah, uh, I'm, gu I'm guessing Beanie is finally coming back to get his revenge. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, for those who don't know, Beanie is a friend of mine who also streams, and while well, he's Australian. <laughs> Do you know anything more about this Australian developer? Mm, not really. I'd surely love to give him a piece of my mind, though. Okay. Uh, you got any snacks? I've got some pretzels. Well, that seems harmless enough. Yep. The scum bar's famous kudu jerky pretzels. Ooh. Got anything else? Kudu jerky? The hell's that? Really? Okay, let's have some. Sorry, can't give you any. What? Why did you... That drunk at the table over there? He has the last basket. Can't you give them to me without a basket? Sorry, it's scum bar <laughs> policy. What? Okay. I've got troubles. Like what? is trying to blow up my house. Well, that's a crying shame, Mr. Freepwood. Yeah, if anyone's gonna blow up my house, it should be me. <laughs> if anyone was going to blow up, it would be Grimebrush. <laughs> I need a ship to take me to Lucre Island. You might want to try the Melee Island Municipal Shipyards. Does Stan still work there? Oh, no, no. The whole place is run by the Harbor Mistress these days. Harbor Mistress? Right. She's very by the book. Although, <laughs> she does have her tender side. If her tender side is anything like the painting behind you, I don't want to see it. I was yeah. right. I haven't got a crew to take me to Lucre Island. Hmm. You know, there's probably a pirate or two hanging around that could be coaxed into joining your crew. Okay. So I'm, I'm guessing this guy is uh, for getting some hints. You and me both, brother. I've got to go. Right, well, Grog will do that. Okay, so there's someone here. Look, there's two here. Uh, hello. It says, Happy Birthday. Oh, we're going to be talking braille then? All right. Wait, what? What's the word on the street? <laughs> okay. Got any more juicy nuggets of info? <laughs> okay, that sounds like them trying to dodge sensors, or at least poke fun of them. to join my crew on a dangerous piratey mission. We'll be searching the seven seas for sunken treasure. I'll take that as a no then. What's that you're drinking? I think that might have been the first accurate word out of his <laughs> out of his mouth. Uh, oh no, I think I see what's going on. Yeah, he's so drunk that he's talking in... <laughs> in yeah, in something. No, 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 not only that. There's a reason I think he's drunk. Yeah. He celebrated birthday alone. Yeah. Say, mind if I have some of your pretzels? like a busy man. I'll let you get back to your self-destructive binge drinking. It says, happy birthday. 
kudu jerky pretzels. I don't even know what kudu jerky is, and I don't think I want to know. Hi there, scruffy-looking pirate person. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. What's your name? Cheese, Ignatius Cheese. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. What big arms you have, Mr. Cheese? The better to insult arm wrestle with, Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> okay, I should have expected uh, that to continue. Wait. Hmm? That accent. Yeah. Is that the Australian? Uh, we'll see. Insult arm wrestling? I, while you were away, the insult sword fighting paradigm became attached to a host of other pirate pastimes. Paradigm? Well, nowadays you can't throw a dart or, or play a game of checkers without being expected to toss in a withering bon mot. I think I tossed a bon mot in a food fight once. My particular <laughs> speciality is insult arm wrestling, which I use to defend my bar from hostile takeovers. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Um. Wait a minute. Your name is I Cheese? I Cheese? I. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm sorry, but I just can't get over the absurdity of your name. Well, if you say so, Mr. Threepwood. I'll have you know that the Threepwood name has a long and noble history. So does mine. I'd like to hear really? about the long and noble history of the Cheese family. Aye, it'd be my pleasure. Naturally, no discussion of my family would be complete without mentioning my great-great-grandfather, who single-handedly revolutionized the art of roadside carriage wheel repair. Who is that? Are you daft? Have you never heard of Jack Cheese? I don't ride many carriages in my line of work. Sorry. Why do I get the feeling he repaired a wheel with, well, a wheel of cheese? Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> it's been nice chatting, but I've got to see a man about a monkey. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, yeah he's, just, he's just using an excuse. Um, Maybe we can get those pretzels by getting the guy even more drunk. I'm back. Uh, Grog me, barkeep. Why are you be glad to? After you show me some ID. Since when did Groggeries check for ID? Since unscrupulous Australian developers started trying to get our Grog license revoked. Oh, come on. What? Hmm. I gotta go. Right, well, Grog will do that. Let's have a look then. Is there really nothing here on how to get those pretzels? No, I... I, I let's see. Page... Okay. There's the cover, there's page two, there's page three. Hmm. Yeah, it, it looks like there's a bit missing here on how to get those pretzels. Uh, hmm. Okay, how do we do this then? Not even a life preserver will save what lies beyond that door. Wait, is it too drunk to notice if you take some pretzels? Why don't people ever want me to go into the kitchen? Oh, I wonder uh, why. Because you have a reputation, Guybrush. I guess he doesn't want anyone taking his birthday pretzels. Hmm. Okay, how are we going to get these then? This fish has seen better days. Hi there, fellow swashbuckler. <laughs> you sure I can't have any of your pretzels? Okay. You look like a busy man. I'll let you get back to your self-destructive binge drinking. What? That's, uh... Am I the only one who's amused by the fact that the balloon is just a PNG moving up and down when everything else is 3D? <laughs> a little bit. 
Okay, how are we going to get the Okay, we don't have anything in our inventory. That sword's in there pretty deep. Looks like I missed a mighty bar fight. Um It's half full. Or perhaps it's half empty. Okay. The owner wouldn't be too happy if I took that. Okay. Ahoy, mateys! Excuse me. Buzz off, buzzard breath. Yeah, can't you see we're busy here? Um. Bar. You're playing darts. This is busy. Listen, we're playing for the title of Grand Master Dart Champion of Melee Island. Yeah, and unless you're good enough to compete, which you aren't, we'd advise that you take a long walk off a short pier. Why are there so many holes in the wall around the dartboard? Those are uh, from other players. Yeah, we never miss a shot. Get out of here. No, really, pick a number. He did it. Hey. Triple hey, A. Watch the master at work. Nice shot. Okay, so he can. <laughs> uh, firstly, I don't really care much for darts. I know it is a very it, it's pretty tough to get that stupid dart to get after it, but I certainly can't. <laughs> it is fun, but I am so... Sorry. Island dart throwing semi-professional league rulebook clearly states all dart competitions must be won by dart throwing skill, not by any other means such as bribery, insults, threats, or otherwise. I don't say. I am but glad that... Uh, Back when my little brother and other people were living here, or I'll borrow a bed very often, plan to have a dog board placed up in the apartment. Yeah, yeah I had I had none of it. Who did mother? Yeah, that's going to ruin the wall. Which it has for us because we have a dartboard hanging on the wall. Yeah, I told him, if it was just magnet dots, probably fine, but no, it was not magnet dots. Uh, I will note that it is also attached to a sort of board, so yeah, even if you miss, you were, are likely to hit that instead of the actual wall, but there's still a dent or two in the wall around it anyways, because, yeah, we suck at darts. Yeah, and I'll say another thing. Dart against walls probably make a lot of sound. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would never be able to finish a freaking round because I'd be absolutely terrible with the accuracy. I could always use the blue pipe. Who's winning? Right now, we're in a dead tie. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to do a quick look up to see how we even get those pretzels. Because, yeah, the hint book doesn't say anything about that. And there wasn't anything of um, a difficulty to select. Let's see. Watch this be the most easiest uh, <clears throat> puzzle in the entire game and me being too dumb to figure it out. Uh, I wait till this morning. And, uh, look at the balloon. Oh. Okay. Oh. We're going to have to pester these guys a, a bit more. Oh, no. Ahoy again, mateys. Excuse me. Hey. Move the mouse away. Actually, now that... Okay, yeah, the, the lines are visible on the OBS. For a moment, I thought they weren't. Mostly because I can see them a bit more clearly around the sword here. Uh, than they are vis on <coughs> OBS next to me. Uh, go on, game. Hmm... Yeah, I'm really 
definitely going to need to look into a way to start to lessen this. Hmm. Oh, there we go. But you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all it. I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. No problem. Really? Uh, for a moment I thought it woke him up or something, but... Uh, is he going to try and kill us now? Well, at least the two ones threw the bar dart. Hmm. Yeah. I'll definitely need to look into why the hell it's taking this slow... ...to long on the interactions. Hmm. Oop. Oh, I, I... Did we just give him a heart attack or something? game without Guybrush ruining someone's day. This is a new low. He won't be needing these anymore. Let's not eat them. And let's not offer them either. I'm not even sure if these are considered edible or not. Uh, okay, we can just put them away like that. And get out. Having those lines around things does make it a bit easier to tell what might be interactable. Though it's not on oh, yeah. everything that is only interactable. That, yeah, like here, he is barely showing. So maybe it's a good idea to keep it up. Mm. Do. Yeah, it, it's, showing, it's showing things here, but there aren't interactables. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't seem to be affecting how quickly things react, so... Yeah. I'll, I'll switch uh, VG, uh, uh, DJ uh, Voodoo back on. Hey there. To at least clean up the Here image. Some kudu jerky pretzels. Really? Thanks. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. You know, you could thank me by not chucking big old boulders in my house. I could, but I won't. Now leave me alone for a minute while I eat these. And he's off. Oh, ungrateful. <laughs> okay, put those back. And now we mess with this thing. Yeah. Watch him destroying his, his own house. <laughs> An accident. No, no, I think I know what's going to happen. That hey, what stone. do you think you're doing? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You totally messed up my catapult. What you trying to do to me? You're killing me over here. Well, guess I'm going to have to start over at my calibration cactus over there. Get out of my way. <laughs> Guy brush. Uh... I hope. I hope this works. Okay, there we go. I, for a moment, I thought it might, that might crash everything by getting him stuck. I think I know what's going to happen. He's going to fly back and cross his catapult. Probably. <laughs> but we. There. It's recalibrated to the character. Let's try it. We know this series is, can get a lot. We, we know this franchise can get a lot st more stupid than that. Uh, is it stuck? No, it's loading. No. Come on. Yeah, I'll try to have this fixed by next time, uh, by next week. Uh, if if I haven't, we might... Oop. There we go. 
Yeah, this is severely undercutting everything a bit. <clears throat> Was that it? It's still loading, because I can't move Guybrush. You can say that you're on an extended break now, <laughs> due to uh, <laughs> unfortunate destruction of uh, demolition equipment. Yeah, I was right, just... Uh, yeah, not in the way I was expecting. Oh, hello, Marla. Uh, Elaine? Guess what? I'm still dead. But don't worry. I'll love you even after rigor mortis sets in. We've been gone so long they didn't think I was coming back. So those numbskulls at City Hall declared me dead at sea. What about me? Did they say anything about me? No. Then they decided to sell all my belongings and destroy the mansion. That's terrible. Did they sell any of my stuff? A and the worst part is, they've ordered a new election for the office of governor. Hmm, maybe I should run. So far, there's only one candidate. And, you know, the old slogan, when there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. So I've heard. How did that happen? Who can say? Uh, perhaps if you'd spent a little more time governing and less time gallivanting all over the Tri-Island area with your pet monkey, the good citizens of Melee wouldn't have come to the mistaken conclusion that you were pushing up the petunias. Wait a second. Was I the pet monkey in that last sentence? Okay, we get it. You're running for governor. But why destroy my mansion oh that when you died the mansion became the property of the state as a favor to me the future governor of melee island the town elders contracted a demolition firm that's me to destroy this outdated bourgeois symbol of the elitist piratocracy but why because the days of pirate princesses ruling from secluded mansions are over my friend they are indeed they are lad if the melee island of tomorrow is to prosper, it must be governed by a man of the people. A man unafraid to mingle with the common folk. A man who won't hide in a mansion guarded by vicious piranha poodles. A man like you? Precisely. He makes a lot of sense, Elaine. I never did like those poodles. Uh, Guybrush! Well, I've got hands to kiss and babies to shake. Ta! Uh, other way around, dumbass. <laughs> really? I thought he smelled more like a rotting corpse. I've got another plan. With maybe a hint of oregano. Uh, die brush! Woohoo! How can I help? Go to Luca Island to talk to the family lawyers. But why? I destroyed the catapult. Yes, dearest, I know. But with that demolition order hanging over the mansion, another catapult could come at any moment. We need the kind of restraining order that only my family lawyers can provide. But I want to come up with clever campaign slogans and do ops research. Guy brush, love of my life, I'm a politician. Let me do what I do best. I'll let you do what you do best. What's that? Sailing around the Tri-Island area on seemingly pointless errands. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? What I meant to say was venturing into troubled waters on dangerous quests. Well, okay then. That's more like it. Okay. I'm off to start my campaign. Don't spend too much time on Luger Island, dearest. That mesh is not too bad. Yeah, it's had rough edges, but otherwise it's really impressive. Yeah. And personally, graphics don't matter too much to me unless they are, re are if they are just uh, really, really bad, like to the point that it makes you feel sick and such, and they are just hard to look at. But stuff like this, I personally see it more like a type of art style instead of a quality level. Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, I agree with Helian here. And let's see, during that, I was typing on my phone here a bit. Uh, it seems that this is an issue that has popped up before. Uh, might, so there might be... Okay, okay that's, this is going with a disk version. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely have to look around for how to lessen the pauses and such. But for now... Uh, we're going to have to get the crew together, so we're going to have to pester these two again. Uh, hopefully, without getting thrown <laughs> into the sea. Ahoy again! What is it now? We got some heavy-duty begging to attend to. Won't you join my crew for old times' sake, Guybrush? Take a good look at Otis. Monkeys! Monkeys is full of the monkeys. That's what happened to him the last time we agreed to be part of your crew. Now, what in the name of Blackbeard's dandruff could possibly convince us to join you in another idiotic adventure? Well, how about? Uh, brand new car, really? <laughs> Cushy government jobs. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Carla, what are you doing? What kind of cushy government jobs are we talking about? You know, the kind where you're paid three times the going private sector rate, no one checks your work, and it's impossible to be fired. Don't listen to him, Carla. He just wants to take us back to Monkey Island. We'd want contracts, of course. We'll see what I can do. Be seeing ya. Not if we see you first. <laughs> okay, that sounds like it was the, <laughs> the right answer. So... Yeah, do I see... Oh, this is definitely one of those that are a bit more rough. Yeah. But then again, he's not one of the main characters, and we probably won't see him much after this act. Okay, apparently that... Oh, it, it's, the, it's the teleporting door joke again. And we uh, go in oh. one door and exit out another. Nope, I didn't even enter. Press enter. He's just entering on his own and walking through the wall. And that's going to pop us out where? Hmm. Yeah, definitely going to need to do about these something about these pauses. Is there anything here that says something about this somewhere? Um, hmm? Bug report about that apparently? Or something similar? Let's see. Screw off with your cookies. Hmm. Let's see. It's not that. Hmm. Okay, it's really taking its time now. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Let's try something here. That it's, it options it at the top. Um. Let's see. It says something. Where is there something in the? Files. It, it says here to set subtitle speed to 255 in the main menu, then zero in the main in-game menu. Um, let's see. Where would we? Speed. It's not move. Uh, voice only. And that can't. Now that's. Hmm. Let's try that. See what that does. Uh, zoom. It would be odd if this is somehow related to the text speed. Hmm. Oh, oh wait, uh, there he is. I, I didn't notice him. He was standing between the pillars here. Yeah, I just noticed his legs there. I thought, wait, is, did he oh. land over there? 
Okay, so we can get Otis and Carla by offering them contracts for a government uh, job. Um, okay, I like this. I like that we can enter places by just walking into the doors and not just having to, need just not just needing to maneuver around to get to interact with the door. Why are you heading out again, Guybrush? Have you have you suddenly become banned or something? Uh, I can't move, so it must be doing something. All right. Okay, was loading. But why did he move out then? Uh, what's this here? going to be upset when they see what their mask is used for. Hmm. Uh. Okay, let's just turn it back. I don't think it's... Hmm. Is anything here, maybe? Shadow? It's actually... Okay, we can't change those. Or those. Uh, yeah, there's no... Not sure why this is here because they're, I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have multiplayer. It says I'm gonna play. No, I don't wanna. Yeah, there's definitely going to be something that we might need to screw around with. Hmm. Let's talk to the oh, big cheese. Yeah, would you like to join my crew of mighty pirates, Mr. Cheese? And what, pray tell, might I be finding myself doing if I join this crew of mighty pirates? So what's with your face? Hmm. Um, good question. You'd be traveling to Lucre Island with a crew of Cretanous Buccaneers to meet with my wife's lawyers. Now that sounds like a worthy mission for a mighty pirate <laughs> navigator like myself. Really? I. The seas around Lucre Island are very treacherous and can only be navigated by a skilled sailor. I'd love to face that challenge, but... But what? I can't. Why not? Is your keister glued to that chair? Well, yes, now that you mention it, it is. But that's not why I can't be a wise and pirate. Well, then why? Because if I leave my bar for too long, it'll be stolen out from under me. You're the owner of the scum bar? I, the one and only. Hmm. The voice. That's funny. I always thought the scum bar was owned by a guy named Ron. I he was the original owner. I won the bar from him in an epic 12 hour long game of insult go fish. That sounds like a humongous fib. Believe what you like. In any event, I've been fighting off a hostile takeover bid from an Australian land developer. Come again? You heard me. A greedy Australian is making a grab for my bar. With guns and swords and cannons? Worse, with insults, jibes and mockeries. It's taken all of my insult arm wrestling skill to keep him at bay. Gosh, if it weren't for the whole wife being declared dead thing, I'd say that was the strangest thing I'd heard all week. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, I don't think... You know, the, the, the guy from before you know, certainly didn't sound Australian. So what is up with that? Hmm. So we need to find... We need to convince him somehow to come along. Is there something I could do to convince you to navigate my ship to Lucre Island? I'm open to persuasion. What do you have in mind? Uh, well, oh, since there me. are instructions at this in the hint book, I'm guessing it's going to be beating him. Oh dear. If I beat you at insult arm wrestling, will you be my navigator? Hmm, that's an interesting proposition, Threewood. It is? I mean, of course it is. How about this? If you beat me, I'll be your navigator. Great. But only if you teach me some new insults. Agreed. Well then, let's see what you've got. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, what zip. the? Zip. <laughs> uh... Today, by myself, 12 people I've beaten. I am rubber. You are glue. Okay, <laughs> he's giving up already. <laughs> 
muscles in places you've never even heard of. Oh, it's too bad none of them are in your arms. My 98-year-old grandmother's <laughs> in your arms in you. Yeah. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, but we've both got better bladder control than you do. <laughs> You're the ugliest creature I've ever seen in my life. I'm shocked that you never have gazed at your wife. Oh, give it. Oh, give up now, or I'll crush you like a grape. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Do you have a death? <laughs> Go ahead. I would say, do you have a death wish, Mr. She's? I would if it would stop your whining. Your arms are no bigger than fleas that I've met. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Okay, that's a reading in the art current. I'm gonna put your arm in a sling. Boy, are you studying to be a nurse? <laughs> hey, look over there. Uh, uh, Okay, that is actually on the list here, I think. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, oh. You, you're shitting! Yeah, 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 I know. It's a three-headed monkey. Yeah, I, I'm reading from the hint book here what the <laughs> reactions are. Because otherwise we'd likely be here going back and forth for quite a while. My forearms have been mistaken for tree trunks. An over-the-counter defoliant could help with that problem. Today, by myself, 12 people I've beaten. Uh, from the size of your gut, I guess they were eaten. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, my stupefying strength will shatter your own into a million pieces. Oh, I'm surprised you can count that high. Your knuckles are grind to a splintery paste. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, I thought that the bean dip had a strange taste. Uh, I've out wrestled octopi with these arms. I'm sure that spineless creatures everywhere are humbled by your might. My stupefying strength will shatter your ulna into a million pieces. Is it? Yeah, is it ulna? Uh, probably one of the bones. It's not. I don't think it's one of the ones in the arm, actually, or at least not in the uh, lower arm. Uh, so not see. the elbow, then. Let's see. The answer to that is the one that is with counting, is isn't it? Uh, I'm surprised you can count that high. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I'm surprised you can count that high. Yeah. I like that they. I like that we have the. Res that we, that we have the correct retorts from the start, so we don't have to well keep doing this over and over again to get the to get. <laughs> why am I tripping over my tongue? To not it, so we don't have to get all of them before we can actually do anything. Consider my fists lethal weapons. I am rubber. You are glue. Okay, we're leading again. Do I see quivers of agony dance on your lip? I am rubber. You are glue. And we win. I won. You did. Yep. Fair and square. Congratulations. You got yourself a navigator. Where, where did our chair go? Actually, where did it even come from in the first place? Good question. Let's see from the... Dead Madden. Yeah, I don't think he's dead. Excuse Hopefully. Hey. Probably. But I, I hope I expect them to actually throw a dart right at the painting. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if she knows about the painting is hanging on the bar. If that even is her, but uh, ex it's uh, the damn same hat at all, and he was hinting at it here heavily. And game's pausing again. Hmm. I could check to see if. Hmm. 
I could check to see if the game running without this launcher. Uh, slowly turning, slowly turning. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like me there. <laughs> That's some of your puns. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to check, uh, check if uh, the game has this without the launcher. But if if that it, if it does work like that, then we have the problem that it doesn't want to be screen shared like that. So yeah, yep. we'll have a full week to test it at least. Would you strapping young specimens like to join my pirate crew? I would, but once I win the melee championship, I'm gonna have to go on tour to win the Tri Island Dark Rose Championship. Actually, you will be able to join this crew since I will be winning the melee island championship. Says you, Swabby. Knows me, Cracker Brain. Um. Yeah, let's actually give this a shot. I'm a dart throwing maniac. Back in grade school, they called me the Dart Master. Or something that rhymed with that, anyway. <laughs> Fart Master. So, can I join your game? No. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Yeah, these two probably are not going to be part of the crew, then. Alright. Um... Actually, we can probably find some documents for government work in the mansion. So, let's head over there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, beyond crew, we're going to need to also get our hands on the ship, of course. But let's start with one thing at a time. Is it a dimension over there? the town hall yeah we've already tried to enter the town hall twice now and both times it <laughs> it threw us out at the other side so we can't do anything there there we go oh it's nice we don't own many coats in these tropical climes and yet you have an entire i'm not okay that wouldn't well that's still going to be big in there <laughs> So that's a whole, that's a giant coat closet wasted. No, that's if it doesn't have enough lower back support. Wouldn't want to end up becoming a hunchback and looking abnormal. Come on, guy brush. Oh dear. Hello, my little blunder bunny. What are you doing here, guy brush? I'm having a little trouble getting a ship. What kind of trouble? I don't have the authority to requisition one. Can you believe that? Me! There must be a bunch of new people around here since we left. Here, take this. It should give you an air of authority. Okay. What's this doohickey? It's the official gubernatorial symbol of Melee Island. It conveys the authority of the Office of Governor. It also gets the holder into some pretty great parties. <laughs> the true pirate doesn't need some gubernatorial symbol to prove he commands respect. Yes, well, all the same, I, I think you'd better take it. All right. Oh, does this mean I get to run the island now? I've got some revolutionary ideas about subsidized childcare. Just give it back the minute you return from Lucre Island. Uh, uh... Nobody wants to be on my crew. Ask nice and don't make any ridiculous promises. Yeah, you should use that in your campaign. I'll leave the crew selection to you, my dearest, and you can leave the campaign management to me. Is there anything else? I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. Thanks. All right. Uh, let's put that away. Yeah. We still have those. Yeah, that's that's likely going to get us a ship, but that's not going to. Hey, it's Elaine as a little kid with Grandpa Marley. Oh, how cute! Don't make me get out your baby pictures. But honey, you don't have any of my baby pictures. No, but I have some of you crying after you got smacked in the head. <laughs> Uh, okay. Wait, what? That, that that he cries like a baby. Yeah, though, I'm surprised they have paintings of that. <laughs> How could a mere painting capture the essence of my love? Oh, that's so sweet, Guybrush. Now get back to work. Uh, yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's probably some papers here that we can steal. 
For some reason, it makes me want to ride a hog. Is that supposed to look like the Hell's Angels <laughs> uh, symbol or something? I, love I have chess. no idea. Especially the horsies. <laughs> I've always wondered what was behind the mansion. Now I know. Yeah, but we don't. Come on. Dungle? It's a government paper of some sort. Drink. Elaine really loves these plates for some reason. Uh, don't even think about touching the China guy brush. Who's touching it? I'm not touching it. No, sir, not me. <laughs> okay. So we've got some government papers, which we could probably give to Carla and Otis to get them on board. It's the door to our bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Um, what's this door here? It's the door to the kitchen. Okay, nothing special. Uh, there's another paper here. Hmm. The header says Melee Government Employment Contract. Oh, okay. Can we pick that up? Yes, we can actually. Okay, I was expecting her to. I thought we agreed that you wouldn't be spreading your messy inventory over our nice clean floor. Uh, sorry, honey. This will only take a moment. <laughs> okay. That's a first that I've seen. Okay, now let's, let's get out before Elaine kicks us out. Okay. Is, uh, is this, this is going, going to be... be... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. I was saying, this is only a few times it has a slow load screen. Yeah, for some reason. I'll still try to look into a way to minimize it as much as possible because it's still like five to ten seconds between some points. Um, let's see. Is that is. It's the official symbol of the governor's office. It looks like a stamp, and this the way this is. It reminds me a lot of the original Tomb Raider, how that inventory works. Let's see. The header hmm. says melee government employment contract. Says melee government employment contract, cushy edition. Okay, so can we offer this one to both of them, or do we have to do something to mix these or something? It's not even being signed by the governor. <laughs> we may be down on our luck, pirates, but we're not stupid. Come back when you've got a signed contract. Okay. Uh, I was expecting something like that. Uh, I think you need to tell Elaine about it. I don't think that would help anything. I don't think that would help anything. Hmm. I don't think that would help anything. Okay. So it's not a. It looks like a stamp. Or is it just dry? It's the official symbol of the governor's office. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's take a shot at the boat then for now. Yeah. Is it gonna go and grab something more to drink? I wonder where this goes. Too bad it's locked. Guess I'll never find so out. Don't try to die. <laughs> uh, it's Monkey Island. There's usually only one way to die. Uh, come on, let's not... Getting stuck on some points here. Alright. Now then. Here. Have us moving. There we go. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission, and I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. Check this out. What's this? The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you are an important person. Right this way, Mrs. Marley. Let me show you to your ship. 
Again, Guybrush getting confused for a woman for some reason. And she's heading straight for the pink one, isn't she? It's trying to load. Hmm. It, this is annoying, but it's not taking away extremely from the game. It's not making it unplayable. And, oh, she's actually not heading for the pink one. And she is, and I'm back. Welcome back. Is it, but I was back for a while ago, just... Didn't want to miss the cutscene. It's not that one, Guybrush. Yep, okay, yeah. Okay, I got confused by the, the camera swap. I thought it extended more outward. This is the dainty lady. It's pink. You've obviously got a seaman's eye for nautical details. But, but it's pink. Now, there are a couple of regulations that I'm required to explain to you. First, bring it back in the same or better condition as it is now. Second, life preservers are to be worn by all crew and passengers at all times. Finally, this vehicle is to be used for official business only, so no joyriding. Can I go now? Well, I'd love to hang out here on the docks with you all day. Actually, that's a lie. I can't stand to be near you. Bye. <laughs> oh, and enjoy your voyages on the dainty lady. Yep. Okay, she can turn her head quite a bit. Pink. <laughs> Come yes, on, guy, but you've been through worse. Uh, actually, what's with this sign here? Up. Oh, of course. It's even it's even somewhat readable from the camera angle here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. What was that noise? Well. We have a ship, we have a navigator, uh, we just need the rest of the crew. Which is probably going to be Meat Hook and the other two. Hmm. But yeah, let's head to the mansion and see if Elaine has anything to add. Hmm. Yeah, you probably should mention to her about uh, contracts. Yeah. And again, th this is just going to be another lie, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> Elaine technically isn't governor since she's technically dead, so this these contracts will technically not be worth a thing. So Gabus is going to screw them over again. to show this to her What's this for? I needed to convince reluctant rap scallions to join my crew. Darling, can you just use your blinding charisma to cajole them into joining you? I think I used up all my charisma on the honeymoon. All right, let me sign it. Okay, there we go. Easy enough. <laughs> Giant ass better. <laughs> Have you ever seen the fancy writing pens before? Yeah, I've seen it, but not, like, arm length. Just look at that thing, it's I as long as Elaine's arm. It, wait, you never... Oh, you poor sweet... I, I have uh, seen them before, but just not guys. that freaking long. I but, have several times in many, many books, many, many comics, and many an, an animation and whatnot. Have you seen bigger than that? We've got to be picking seen... ostrich feathers. The header says Melee Government Employment Contract. Cushy edition. I was just say, I think I just seen someone use ostrich feathers and they are huge. <laughs> yeah. Okay, put it away, Guybrush. I know you want to put your own name on it, but we're going to need it to bribe those two. Oh dear. Hmm. Actually, I, something I just thought on for a second. We have Meat Hook, we have Otis, and we have Carla. M-O-C. M-O-C. I don't get uh, the okay here, Leon. Uh, you could say they are a mockery of pirates. Mock. Okay, that's a stretch. <laughs> but we can also commission them to work for us. C-O-M. 
someone is fine setting up fireworks. <laughs> and that's actually getting picked up. If not. Yeah, I, I see my sound bar jumping quite a bit, so it might not be coming to you, but it, I think it is coming onto the stream. That's the background music. No, it was coming from the window over here. says cushy in the title. Well, all right then. All right, Threepwood, you got yourself a crew. Is that the sheep? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I can. Whatever. No. Don't make me slap you, Otis. Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luker Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. Mr. Cheese, <laughs> shouldn't we steer away from those dark portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> Button down the ass. Shorten sail! Clear the scupper! Get your hands off me! Sorry, baby. There you go, <laughs> Mr. Marley. Luker Island. Ah, Luker Town. The largest urban center in the Tri Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. Isn't that the whole point of a captain, Godis? Yep. Uh, I was expecting that we'd have to get Meat Hook as well, but <laughs> better to keep it short then. <laughs> yeah, and he did say he... There was a word that he'd given up on piracy. Yeah. Okay. Now, where are these lawyers? We're a bit low on time, but we can still try and find them. What's this here? Somebody's selling fish over here. Okay. There's a duckling on this. Must be the duck standard. If that's a joke, I'm not getting it. Hey, check out that pair of flotation devices. <laughs> Come on! Henry, do you know what that was? Hmm? She's not even a boob joke. Yeah. <laughs> and Gypers found time to change clothes, apparently. I like this. It's simple, white and blue. Look out for the duck. Uh, let's look at it instead. It's a rather unspectacular duck. Can we? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> what? And can what? we? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> and now Guybrush has a duck in his pants. Oh, Helia, no! No! <laughs> uh, as long as it watches where its beak goes. Stop uh, getting the bonks. Smell of buckets upon buckets of rotting fish in the morning sun. Uh, no. Yeah, you, but you will stick a duck in your pants. <laughs> it is not rotting. I should go to the law offices before I get some bait. Okay. Uh, All of you ask this. And probably it's not where. It's more likely to jail. Uh, house of house Six. Of what? Sen <laughs> sense and sensibilities. Okay, that's a good pun. It's a pile of empty perfume spritzer bottles. I'll just take one. Okay, that is going to be used somewhere. And oh, we we got rid of the we got rid of the other contract. It seems. Okay. 
Uh, it is always nice when a game gets rid of unused, yeah, <clears throat> gets rid of items that you don't have a use for, and this must be the place. Okay. Oh, oh, excuse me, is this? Come in, come in, come in. What can we do for you? I was told you guys could help me. Of course we can. What is it, wrongful dismemberment? Hit and run dinghy accident? Hurt your back while pillaging another ship? Uh, no. I need you to see if you can save my house from being destroyed. That doesn't sound very prestigious. <laughs> Lucrative. Did I mention that my house is the governor's mansion on Melee Island? Governor's mansion, you say? Well, that changes things. Nice use of the TM. But you <laughs> can't be the governor. I'm here representing the Honorable Elaine Marley Threepwood, governor of the tri Island area. She's my wife. Oh, I get it. He's joking about the wife thing. And people think lawyers have no sense of humor. You know, it's illegal to make such wrongful and preposterous claims. Should we sue him? How much money do you think he has? I'm serious. We just got back from our honeymoon. Three glorious months on the high seas. And return to find the mansion under siege by a dastardly demolitionist. Is this alleged demolitionist wealthy? Hmm, yes, we could sue them. Put a lien on their catapult. File a writ of habeas money. Wouldn't you rather go after the big bucks? If Elaine wins the election, she'll be a powerful person. And if the mansion is saved, she'll have someone to thank. And if that someone is you... We would be given a lot of money? Er, not given... Think outside the juror's box, my esteemed colleagues. We could become the official lawyers for the Tri-Island area. Yes, the preferred legal team of the governor's office. What do you need from us, young fellow? Mm, I don't know. You handled Grandpa Marley's estate, right? Right, right, right. Did he have a plan for such a crisis? Nope. 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 <laughs> We'll get right on it. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, wait. Actually, this may take a while. Legal issues can be quite complicated. And take a lot of research. Isn't there something else you could do for a while? See the island. Take in the side. Um, I guess so. Oh, hey. You might as well take this. What is it? It's a letter from Grandpa Marley. It was supposed to be delivered after his granddaughter got married. Yep, okay. This will save us a trip. Now be gone. We have work to do. Okay, uh, let's look at it. Hmm, let's see what it says. <clears throat> My dearest Elaine, if you are reading this, then you are married and I am dead. Now that you've finally settled down with a fearless pirate husband, it's time for you to claim the final pieces of your family's heritage. At the Lucre Island Municipal Bank, you'll find a safe deposit chest under my name. Among other things, the chest contains the deed to the Marley Mansion. Never lose sight of this deed. Furthermore, the chest also contains my wedding gifts to you. I'm sorry that I was unable to deliver them in person. But I go to my grave confident that you've chosen a man I would be proud to call grandson. Lastly, and most importantly, the chest contains the keys to the most terrifying secret in the Caribbean. A secret ten times as terrifying as Big Whoop? The secret of the ultimate insult. Yipes. If the unholy power of the ultimate insult ever found its way into the wrong hands, there's no telling what sorts of hex spawn mischief could be unleashed upon our fun-loving pirate citizens. Guard these secrets with your life, and know that no matter where you are, your grandfather is watching over you. With all my love, Horatio Tokamata Marley. How sweet. Uh, P.S. If your deadbeat parents come around looking for a handout, tell them to take a long walk off a short gangplank. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, these guys don't like people just monologuing stuff in. Oh, sorry, is that a gal? Is that. Is that a, a noose oh, by the painting? Hey, look, fellas. Perhaps we should drop this case. He's got nothing of value to pay us with. The, is everyone going to comment on our inventory? <laughs> Come on. Uh, that, oh, that is a noose. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I've heard, I'd heard bits of this game because uh, I reasonably recent saw a video by uh, a 
I'm not sure if YouTuber would be the correct term because they were an, an online entertainer even before they started spreading stuff to YouTube, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, have you ever heard of Pushing Up Roses? Nope. Well, they're, they're a former Channel Awesome contributor who is uh, pretty good. She is she likes adventure games like this and she reasonably recent, as in in the last few months-ish, put out a video about this game. And I did pick up some things from that, so like that, that ultimate insult is going to be the story from here on out, I believe. Uh, as well as some stupid stuff that we're going to have to deal with at the end of this game instead of insults. In, well, insert anything behind that. Uh, that, that is likely to go, uh, likely to become a nuisance, unless there is some way to fiddle with the config files to figure it out that way, because apparently that is randomized every playthrough. So, yeah, that might be an issue. But for now, we have hit the two-hour mark, so we should call it here. Uh, oh. <laughs> thoughts so far? Hey, it is an interesting game. When it works. Yeah. I'll definitely do as much as I can uh, to get this working better. But at the yeah. very least, it is working. That is already yeah. an achievement on its own. Yeah, and it seemed to be working really much, much better now in the later parts. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it could be that it was just having some issues at the start. Uh, I'll still run some tests to see if I can get these things working better. I'll put the Voodoo program on again to get rid of these lines here. And it's probably going to get a tad annoying over time. But they're at least not comp they're at least not making everything look purple or something. Yeah. So <clears throat> Okay, I need a drink. My throat throat is going real dry. <clears throat> okay. And still, I I'm curious about what else will be happening during this. But for that, we'll have to wait until next week. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow we'll be having our showcase Sunday again, with which we are actually starting to approach the end of the list that we have on GOG. But after we run out of the games there, we can, well, for the start, we can take a look at other games that I've bought since we started all of this, uh, that we haven't showed on there. And of course, I also have a physical collection of games that aren't available on Steam or GOG, or Epic for that matter. Uh, one example of those, that is actually the Battle for Middle Earth games. Apparently those are just completely unavailable online. I'm surprised. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely have some, uh, we'll definitely have some interesting picks to get out of that. I'll just have to I'll dig them out of the closet. I have like three drawers full of physical games, and that's that's only my collection. This of the well, that's only my collection of PC games. I further have a lot more of uh, Wii games, uh, Switch games, some old GameCube games still, and yeah, then there's also uh, games that I could probably uh, nick from my father's collection because he has his own still as well. There. But yeah. Uh, besides that, we'll be continuing with Darksiders Genesis on uh, Tuesdays. Uh, I'll be, dr I'll still, I still need to grind a bit more to get some more strength in that to make it easier, so we don't get stuck on things as much. And um, yeah, that's about it, I'd say. Yeah, I can't <laughs> think of anything else at the with either. So yeah. Also, something that I like here is that you can actually look at these old cutscenes. Yeah, not... This is nice, actually. Yeah, a lot of modern games these days is, don't do stuff like that anymore, even. There is yeah. a few, but uh, not many. Hmm. Um, yeah, we've outlined what is coming up. So thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're welcome as always, my friend. <laughs> and yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks!